video, I want to explain the best way to follow up a client. Now, if you are an online based business owner or you're a freelancer or basically, you know, you have a business, you know, that is or that that is based in the online space, you know, and then you get to meet clients on social media, blah, blah, blah. You know, sometimes you might not be able to close every deal as soon as you get in contact with that customer or that client. So what you need to be able to, you know, stand a chance to close that deal is your ability to actually go back to that client and, you know, follow up that client, you know, and try to, you know, close the sale or seal the deal or whatever it is. You know, but before I will be proceeding, you know, in this video, before I tell you anything, I need you to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and like this video. And now the reason you have to do this is so that the YouTube algorithm will promote this video and this channel organically to other viewers who need you know to see to see this video you know and, and watch it and get help you know and apart from that you're actually supporting me subscribing to this channel is a huge support I appreciate it at the time I published this video I am not under 1000 subscribers so you can see I really need a lot of support and push to grow this channel and my brand as well so if you have subscribed and liked this video i'm saying a very big thank you very 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 big thank you to you right now and boom so like i was saying uh i'll be explaining how i uh, how or i'll be explaining the best strategy you know the best method that i think you should use to you know um um follow up your clients now i'll be starting with this as soon as you get your clients i want to ask what did you use? Did you use a lead magnet? Because these days, um, to get clients online, I would advise you use a lead magnet. Now, whether you're a freelancer, whether you are an online-based business owner, um, like whether you offer digital products, you know, whether you offer services, whether you offer physical products, I think it's best you have a lead magnet. Now, in case you do not know what a lead magnet is, let me briefly explain that. A lead magnet is, you know, like, um, it's a free product especially a digital product it could be a course it could be an ebook it could be a free webinar it could be a free training you know it could be a free consultation it is actually a free product that you offer to potential customers or clients in order to bring them you know in order to bring them as leads into your business and later on you know sell the main product to them now let's assume that you actually offered a lead magnet to bring your clients in okay now i'm gonna, I'm gonna make this very practical so let's just say you are a uh let's just say you are a graphic designer you know and you offered a lead magnet and let me say your lead magnet the lead magnet you offered was um let me say you're a graphic designer who wants to teach people how to become a graphic designer as well and then the lead magnet you offered was a short course or a training on how to design graphic design on how to make graphic designs as a beginner now let me say you were able to secure 100 leads who accepted your lead magnet and then after you pitch your offer nobody bought you know after you pitch your main offer nobody bought here is what you should do next time return back to those leads those 100 leads now here is why you have to return to them and here is why you stand a chance of selling it is because they were interested in your lead magnet and your lead magnet is probably like a snippet of your main offer of your main product so what you want to do is go back to them ask them questions you feel me ask them questions you know what they got from your lead magnet let uh, you need to know if your lead magnet was actually satisfactory if it really helps because trust me as much as your lead magnet is free it doesn't mean it has to be useless or it has to be worthless make sure your lead magnet has a lot of value you know, so you need to go back to your prospects, ask them questions about the lead magnet. If, if they were helped by your lead magnet, if they got any value from your, from your lead magnet, then you move to the next step, which is asking them the reasons why they have not actually purchased your main offer. You know, you need to actually ask questions in order for you to know what's in the mind of your prospects. Now, it could be that they do not find your lead magnet useful enough. It could be that they do not have enough products to purchase your main offer it could be that uh, maybe there are other, you know, circumstances or other factors that are disturbing them. But what you need to know is to get the answers. Do not guess. Do not say, oh, I'm sure this person does not have money. That's why I didn't purchase the course. 
ask them the right questions. Now, from those questions you derive, from it's from those questions you actually derive a solution on how to close that particular sale. Now, if the uh, 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 answer to the questions you ask is that they do not have enough money to purchase the main product, then what you should do is offer them, if it's possible, if it's possible, offer them an um, installment payment option. They should pay in installments or you offer them discounts or you add more bonuses to your main offer to stack up enough value. You get me? So things like that will actually increase your chances of making or closing a sale, you know, and then selling your, your, your products or services to the right people who need them.